Hey everyone, today what I wanted to talk about was gardening in grow bags. So I garden on our rooftop deck in the middle of Chicago, so I don't have any yard space, but I'm still able to grow almost anything that I can think of by using different containers. I have a mixture of containers in my garden, so I have elevated beds, some normal plastic terracotta pots, but by far my most used and my favorite container type are grow bags. So I wanna go over some of the benefits of grow bags compared to other containers, some tips for success in using them in your garden, and then a few cons that you might find if you wanna start using grow bags. The first benefit of using grow bags, at least in my opinion, is the cost difference between grow bags and other types of containers. As much as I love these elevated beds, they do cost quite a bit. So I think these were a couple hundred dollars and that was after waiting for them to go on sale. Now, if you are handy enough to build them yourself, you can definitely do it in a much more cost effective way. I am just not blessed with those skills. So while I do have a few of these in my garden, it's something that I save up for over time and not something that I can buy a lot of right when I need them. Other containers, like these two ceramic ones here, while they're beautiful, again, these can cost you 50 plus dollars. So something that looks nice in the garden, but again, not the most cost effective option. Compared to grow bags, where these smaller ones came in a pack of five for I think about $20 total, so $4 a piece. These 30 gallon bags, again, also came in a pack of five, 25 total, so they're only $5 a piece. If you can find $5 30 gallon containers that aren't grow bags, that would be amazing. I just haven't found anything that is as cost effective in the garden as grow bags, which is why I have so many. The next benefit of using grow bags is their lightweight. So for me, that's beneficial for a couple reasons. One, since I am on a rooftop deck, I have to be aware of deck capacity. And what that basically means is how much weight can your deck handle before you cause some structural damage, which is not something I want to do. So I know that our deck is, I think, 100 pounds per square foot, which is pretty strong. But using grow bags, they're incredibly lightweight. The only thing that really adds any weight is the soil and the plants that are in them. So I know I can have a ton of grow bags on my deck and not have to worry about the deck capacity. The other great thing about them being lightweight is you can easily pick them up and move them around wherever you want. Even the large black 30 gallon bags that I showed you, I can move those around on my own, which is something I did the first year I started gardening on my deck when I wasn't really sure where the sun hit at certain times of the summer, certain times of the day. I was able to shift my tomato plants specifically around so that they were going to get enough sun. So if you aren't really sure about the layout of your deck, I love using grow bags because they're so incredibly easy to maneuver around. Another benefit of using grow bags is their breathability. If you're like me, you can tend to overwater your plants. And with grow bags, that's something that you're not really gonna need to worry about just because they have such great drainage. Now on the flip side, that means that you're gonna have to water these more frequently than you would other container types. So that's one of the reasons why whatever size I'm looking for in a grow bag for a specific plant, I like to increase that size a little bit just because obviously the more soil you have in your grow bag, the more water it's going to be able to retain. The breathability of these bags also promotes healthier roots in your plants. So let's take your typical ceramic pot like this. It's really pretty, but essentially when the roots of your plants continue to grow and they hit the edge of this pot, there's nothing that's telling them to stop growing. So they'll continue to circle around and around within this container. Whereas the grow bags, these will actually air prune your plants. So when the roots grow out to the edge, they're going to feel some of those elements that they wouldn't feel in a typical container, and they're going to essentially prune themselves. So you're not gonna end up with those roots circling the bag, and you're gonna get a healthier root system overall. Now let's talk about some potential cons of using grow bags. And I say potential because these aren't cons that I've necessarily experienced or agree with, but they are common and you'll hear these from people who do use grow bags. So the first is durability. These are obviously not as durable. They're just lightweight fabric as, let's say a plastic pot, or again, a ceramic or terracotta pot. 
what I've read online is people can get about three to five years out of their grow bags. These black ones in the back, this will be my third year using them. The first year we were moving. So I actually completely emptied them out and ran them through the washing machine and they came out fine and they're still working. Last winter, I actually left them outside with soil in them all winter. And again, they're doing just fine. These tan or beige bags, I only just got this year, so I can't say much yet about their durability. But at least from my experience with the black bags, so far I have three years out of them. Three years, $5 per bag, I think it's a great deal. Another con has to do with the aesthetics of grow bags. So obviously you might be more drawn to something that looks like this pretty yellow pot with the pink flowers. I don't mind. The look of the grow bags i did get the beige color this year because i didn't want to have just a bunch of black bags um, but i think both of them honestly look really good in the garden i've rolled down the top of the bags just because i think it looks a little cuter <laughs> but overall i don't mind the look of having a ton of grow bags in my garden another con is that grow bags can di get dirty especially these lighter color bags so you can see this one here there's some staining from just having moist soil in it. Again, it's not something that really bothers me. I'll see how I feel over time as these get more use. And I might try running them through a washing machine like I did with the larger black ones, if it ever is something that I start to dislike about the bags. But again, it's not a con that outweighs any of the pros of using the grow bags. So those are some of the pros and cons of using grow bags. What I want to do now is take you around the garden, show you the types of grow bags I use and give you a little bit more information about them. So as you can see, I'm using a lot of grow bags in my garden. All of them I found on Amazon. And what I really like about that is that you can essentially look up a plant, see what size container is recommended, easily search for five gallon, seven gallon grow bag, and you'll have a long list of results that you can choose from. Um, this brand I believe is called Vivo Sun. And then the brand of these larger black ones, I always forget a uh, garden forever. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but again, they've both worked really well so far. I've had the black ones a bit longer, so I know that they are durable for at least three years. Um, these up here, are the five gallon sizes and I'm using these for most of my vegetables. Um, 30 gallon is what I'm using for tomatoes and peppers and I actually grew two tomato plants in one of these bags the first year and that worked out perfectly fine. Now I have some marigolds around the plants and some onions so these are definitely large enough for companion planting. So again it's five gallon, 30 gallon here and for my onions and garlic plants, I'm actually using seven gallon bags. I think that's probably my favorite size. I have another seven gallon bag over here, just because I feel like it gives a little bit of extra space to the plant. So I hope this information is helpful to you if you're thinking about using grow bags in your garden. I really do think it's the best way if you're just getting started with container gardening. Because one, you have that flexibility of being able to move them around wherever you want them. And two, it's not a lot of commitment money-wise. So if you're trying to figure out what size containers you need, how many, you're not putting as much money into it at first. You can kind of see what works best for you and then invest more later on in something that's a bit more durable or maybe a bit more expensive. But that is everything for today, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about grow bags or if you have an experience using grow bags that you want to share, please leave it in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye! I managed to dump an entire container full of soil that I forgot was actually full of soil all over the deck and all over myself, but that is the life of a gardener.